Is your PC running slow while you're playing games? We all know that it's frustrating to lag in those important moments, so I'm going to tell you 5 things that you can change right now to improve your FPS on Windows 10. Let's jump straight in. Trick number 1 is killing all startup processes that you don't need through the task manager. Most startup programs aren't necessary as you can run these programs as you need them rather than having them constantly hogging your processing power. You can disable these programs by navigating to your task manager, clicking the startup tab, and setting the status to disabled on programs you don't need. Take note of which programs have higher startup impact as these will make the biggest difference when you disable them. Trick number two. While we're still in the task manager, navigate back to the processes tab and make sure everything you don't need is closed that you don't want open while you're gaming. Please be mindful of what tasks you are ending here as some are necessary to keep your PC running and I don't want to be liable for any catastrophes here. So stick to the main programs on your PC, things like Spotify, Discord if you aren't talking to friends, and Google Chrome. Right click these types of programs and hit end task. Try not to touch those background processes unless you know exactly what they're used for. Trick number three deals with the power options of your computer. We're going to counterintuitively change this setting off of high performance and set it to balanced. This will keep your PC running cooler and prevent your PC from overheating. Cooler computer equals better performance. You can find this setting in your control panel under power options. Hi there, post editing me here. You can also get to the setting by right clicking your start menu icon and clicking power options. Super slick. Then hit additional power settings and the checkboxes are there. Simply check the balanced performance box and you're all set. Trick number four is to disable full screen optimization. This mostly affects games that primarily use CPU, such as Overwatch or Counter-Strike Global Offensive. These settings can be tweaked for individual games. To do this, find the executable file that launches your game. In this case, I'll be locating Counter-Strikes.exe file through Steam. You can right click on this file once you find it, go to Properties, and click the Compatibility tab. Near the bottom, you'll see the checkbox labeled Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Check this box and hit Apply. Before our final FPS boosting trick, I wanted to talk about our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legend. Just kidding. I wanted to discuss the built-in Windows 10 feature called Game Mode. Some people may say that Game Mode does increase FPS, and others will say that it does not. However, after doing research on various machines, it is safe to say that Game Mode does not have any impact whatsoever on gaming performance. So, whether you enable Game Mode and its counterparts like the Game Bar, are completely personal preference and will not affect your FPS. Alright, trick number 5 lies within the game that you're playing. Tweaking in-game settings can make the biggest impact on your FPS without a doubt. Obviously these tweaks will come at a cost, sacrificing the visual beauty of the game for buttery smooth frames. Games like first person shooters, at least in my opinion, don't have to look incredible while playing since it's the shooting that really matters. Other games may be different as you want to enjoy the visual aesthetics. However, it may be, the settings that you'll want to lower in-game for the largest FPS boosts are shadows, anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, motion blur, and render distance, if applicable. If you really don't care about how the game looks, you can also lower the in-game resolution. This will make the game more pixelated, but could give about a 20% boost in frame rate. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to stay up to date on all things PC gaming. If you have any issues or questions about the advice in this video, please leave a comment sharing what's happening and what you've tried, and I'll respond to you as soon as I can to help you out. That's all I have for you in this video, I'll see you in the next one.